Good morning everybody and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Beck and I am a registered nurse in Western Australia. I'm currently working at a hospital on a surgical ward and loving it. I am seven months into my grad program and I'm about to change wards to a medical ward. So yeah, if you haven't been on my channel before, welcome. Today's video, as you'll see by the title, is my first ever night shift. Oh, so tonight I have my first ever night shift and then tomorrow night. So I've got two in a row. At the moment it's nine o'clock and I'm already super tired. <laughs> I couldn't sleep last night. I tried to stay up because I heard that staying up the night before is good um, to kind of get yourself in the routine of being up late. And it was like 10 o'clock and I crashed so hard because I did a 13 hour shift yesterday. So that was insane after doing two days in a row and then a 13 hour. And then so I tried to get enough sleep last night but I just couldn't sleep because I was just thinking about how hectic the shift was. And I didn't wind down after I finished. I had to do some grad stuff um, and submit that. Like my brain was so busy that all I could think about was the fact that I should still be looking after my patients. And I was like, Where's my patients? What, what are they doing? Are they okay? Are they is it a teacher? And I was like, overnight, I was like, I don't know. It just like didn't dawn on me that I'd gone home and like handed over the patients. It was just nuts. So I didn't get any sleep last night. I just kept waking up, tossing and turning. And then I slept in until probably 8 o'clock. And I tried to force myself to keep sleeping and keep sleeping, but I just couldn't sleep at all. Mum was going to the shops quickly on her way to see my brother and sister-in-law. And I really didn't want to get out of my pajamas and go to the shops to get night shift snacks. So I was like, Mom, <laughs> will you please go get me snacks? So she did and she dropped them off. So she got oat slices, sour cream and chives, baked crisps. She always gets the weirdest snacks, but I'm super thankful. And snowballs. <laughs> That's what's going to get me through night shift, apparently. She also brought me dried apricots <laughs> and her sleep tablets that she uses when she has night shift. It helps relax her so she can sleep during the day. So I'm going to have two of these now and hopefully they don't destroy me and I am able to wake up tonight. I'm very, very sensitive to like sleeping tablets and stuff like that. Like I had one quarter of a Finergan once and it ruined me to the point where the next day at 12 o'clock I couldn't even stand up. I was so tired. So hopefully that'll make my body think that it's still night time <laughs> and send me to sleep. So now I've had those sleeping tablets, well those natural sleep tablets. I'm going to maybe have something to eat and like something light, get myself settled and go into my dark room. I'll show you my dark room. <laughs> it's just our bedroom, but it, I made it really dark. So, this is my sleep dungeon. <laughs> so this is outside at the moment. Beautiful sunny day. So this is an attempt at little Becky's little bear cave. I thought that I would show you my experience and how I go with my routine and see if it works and see how tired I am at the end of it. Uh, I thought it'd be a fun little video to film. And so yeah, I guess I'll update you guys throughout the day. If I get to sleep, then I won't update you and I'll just like leave a little thing to be like, hi, oh, I slept. My plan is I've done a lot of like talking to people that work night shifts and like getting tips and stuff. And so many people said stay up late. I failed at that. Mm, a few people said try to sleep in as long as you can and then get up for lunch and then try to go to sleep again before you go to your shift. And I'm like, I will try that. That's my, kind of my game plan at the moment. So I'll just have something to eat, have a cup of tea, like a herbal tea, and then nothing that's gonna like stimulate my brain. And then just try and go back to sleep. And considering how tired I am still, there's a good chance I will be able to. Tomorrow will be a lot easier because I will have been awake the whole night, so I should sleep in all day. Um, and that'll be much better. But um, I'm probably gonna look like a wreck at the end of it. So I was like, why not start it looking like a wreck? <laughs> Should be a good time. It's a really good lot of crew. I looked up who I'm working with and they're all really nice and really fun. So hopefully it should be a lot of fun. Uh, 
I don't even know what time it is. <laughs> I love night shift. <laughs> Those tablets worked a treat. After I filmed that last little bit, I had some porridge and that's it. I just had a bowl of porridge, like really bland porridge. I didn't want any like sugars or anything in it. And then I started to get so tired. Like it just hit me and I like stood up and I was like really tired. And then I've slept ever since. And it's now three o'clock. <laughs> and I have like a full eight hour sleep. So I slept till eight. And then I think I went back to sleep about 11. 11, 12, one, two, three. So that's a four hour sleep. So that's pretty good in my books. So I've, I've got a bit of the bank. done <laughs> okay I did warn you about my appearance post night shift and it's um pretty grueling so it's currently 8 15 in the morning exactly 12 hours from when I left for work pretty much <laughs> exactly pretty much it was actually really good I didn't mind it at all so we had two codes two code blues so that was interesting to see how they're managed on a night shift because their doctors aren't on so it's ED doctors that have to deal with the patients so you have to pretty much give them a whole new story of who they are and what's happening to them and a proper like ISA bar handover essentially otherwise it was pretty cool like I had eight patients so eight lots of obs to do which is a bit more intense and then like a few um, BSLs, a few daily weights, some IDC drainage etc etc and quite a bit of pain relief but all in all it was a good shift um, and I didn't mind nights at all it was so much more chilled and less like hustle bustle with everyone running around all the time and like being so busy like we were busy and I didn't have a sleep um, you can have an hour's sleep if you want to. Honestly, with that shift, I don't think that we would have been able to. Just because when you get on, like you do your 12 o'clock obs and then write your notes. And then 4 o'clock obs. In between them, we had a code. So it was a bit full on. And then another patient, it was borderline codable. Codable? Yeah. I didn't eat my meal that I made. I made a pasta salad. I'm going to try eat it tonight for dinner. Whether I don't eat before I go and I eat something at midnight. I felt a little bit sick. Like my stomach was a bit bloated um, walking around and I think that's just because my tummy was not used to being awake and mobile at that time. I was snacking a lot, um, not a lot actually, I had like maybe two lollies, one snow cone and one of my oat bars and then maybe like five of those snow pea snap things. Overall it was good and our last code was like on handover so it was like at 7 o'clock so that woke me up a lot. And I was rearing to go. I, I literally probably could have done at least another two hours. But I came home, obviously. And then once I came home, put my heat pack in to warm up my bed. Closed the whole house up so it's darker. Still a bit of light coming in, but just to pretend that it's night time. Shut the bedroom up, put my diffuser on, got my water next to my bed. Gonna have a shower after I finish my food. I thought I'd eat first so then my tummy can settle in the shower and then I can pretty much go straight to bed after my shower. But I'm crashing hardcore. <laughs> my plan is that I'm going to go to sleep once I finish my shower. So probably around nine o'clock I'll be in bed. Sleep till hopefully at least one. So maybe wake up. If I wake up and I'm not tired, I'm going to take another one of those sleep tablets just to help me sleep for the next few hours. It's hard because I had so much fun with Owen before my shift last night because usually on my afternoon shifts I don't get to see him at all 
and my morning shifts, I'm usually really tired once I get home from work. I was neither of those things. So we were able to like play some Xbox and like muck around for a bit, so that was fun. So I wanna try and get up for around 3.30. So that's a good six hours sleep. Okay. I'm gonna try to stay off my phone. But honestly, at the start up meeting, I think I'm gonna sleep <clears throat> very easily. I'm borderline delirious at the moment, so I'm gonna go have a shower, jump into bed, and I may catch you up when I wake up to let you know how my little try, tr tr attempt, at, my little attempt at a routine went. So wish me luck. Hope I sleep. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> oh, it's so bright. I don't know if I can handle it. <laughs> oh, I'll get used to it in a second. <laughs> All right, it's now 3.30 in the afternoon. <laughs> I feel like this whole video is just gonna be me super tired and sleeping and then working. But I guess that's what night shift is. I don't know why I'm not just getting up and closing the blinds. I just can't be bothered. I got a full five hours sleep. So I went to sleep at nine and I woke up at two. So I'm pretty happy with that, to be honest. This is my last night tonight, so I'm not too concerned if I don't get like a full night's sleep because I'll make up for it with the amount of sleep I'm gonna get tomorrow and tomorrow night, hopefully. <laughs> Overall, I've really enjoyed night shift. I'm excited for tonight as well. Yeah, it's just a different vibe. It's, it's kind of cool. It's like a lot more chilled and less like stress is put on you. Yeah, you're not having to do all your showers, you're not having to do all your meds, you're not having to do like getting people up for the toilet all the time. Like, it's still busy, because you've still got like IV antibiotics due during the night and like Panadol and you're still doing OBS and monitoring people and making sure they're alive because they're not awake. <laughs> but otherwise, yeah, overall really happy. Um, so I hope you enjoy this little like random first night shift vlog. Last night I survived off one coffee like, I only had one coffee at 8 o'clock, and that literally lasted me until 7. I didn't have anything else to help my energy or anything, except for some sugar. So, yeah, that was pretty cool. I was pretty proud of myself, considering I thought I was going to need, like, at least 10 coffees. Tonight might be a little bit different, because it's my second night, so I might have a coffee at, like, 8, a coffee at, like, 10, just to keep myself packed. But I don't want to have coffee after midnight. Just because then I probably won't sleep. Oh my gosh. My eyes are so tired. Let me know below if you like night shift better or if you like day shift better. Because my patient asked me and I was like, I don't know, it's my first one. <laughs> so I'm just curious. I think it does work for a lot of people's different schedules. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching and um, we'll chat soon.